Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. Behind me there's a beautiful sunset and a beautiful motorcycle. I am sorry for the clickbaity title of this, uh, this video, but it's not clickbait. I am going to sell my Yamaha Tenere 700 and in this video I would like to explain why. Uh, I know there's so many people around the world that can't get their hands on this beautiful motorcycle because Yamaha can't make enough of them. And I feel really sorry for you guys. Uh, the, the wait is worth it. Uh, okay, uh, before I continue, let me just give a quick background on my motorcycle career. Uh, it has not been a very long career, uh, especially off-road riding, just a year or a couple of years. Uh, I started on some Harley Davidsons, sold those, bought a Suzuki V-Strom 650, uh, which kind of got me a bit on the, the ADV bug. And, um, rode that for a season, quickly realized that uh, for a beginner it's probably not the best learning bike when you are, are learning the basics of off-road riding coming from the street. So I uh, uh, changed it for the, the T7 uh, and uh, I've owned this bike for eight months and I've been really impressed with the, the bike in pretty much every aspect except one uh, major drawback. Uh, not necessarily uh, a major drawback for the bike because the bike is close to flawless in my honest opinion but a major drawback for me and my kind of riding. Uh, let me explain. I was riding the Trans Euro Trail, uh, came back from it uh, a week ago it was a blast, pretty much the best week uh, of my life, seven days of pure off-road riding anything from yeah anything from tarmac uh, highway uh, to to tight single tracks uh, but there were a few situations along uh, that trip and prior to that trip i've experienced this many times as well uh, and this all led to one situation a couple of days ago where i got stuck in a deep hole of mud uh, riding at uh, night or late in the evening uh, completely my fault, should have been more cautious, should have stopped and, and checked the terrain. Uh, it looked like gravel, I continued riding and boom, I was suddenly stuck in the middle of a deep tractor uh, tire uh, or tractor trail uh, filled with the stickiest mud that I've ever seen. Uh, and um, as, a, as an adventure rider, I, I said to myself, okay Johannes, you need to be able to get yourself out of this situation uh, if not uh, that's a blind spot in your your riding approach uh, so uh, six hours later I was still pushing pulling digging that terrible mud could not get the bike out on my own uh, and mind you I am six foot five I'm 100 kilos I'm a former powerlifter so I'm fairly strong I'm a good candidate of manhandling uh, this motorcycle at 200 kilograms but I could not get it out of that hole. And uh, that's the first time I've been stuck with a motorcycle. It was a very humbling experience. Uh, I've reflected a lot on it and I also learned a lot. I uh, should probably bring a rope the next time I'm riding. I uh, should probably ride with, with other riders. But the one thing, the, the, the main conclusion that I drew from that situation, uh, along with all those other uh, uh, scenarios that I've encountered with this motorcycle uh, being uh, someone who likes to find the most remote trails that I can find and see uh, what's on the other side. I've been stuck uh, many times but I've got myself out of those situations but this time after six hours I was extremely exhausted and frustrated. I said to myself okay Johannes if this is the kind of riding that you mostly do the Tenere 700 is probably too heavy for your skill level. I know that there's very good guys or very good riders out there uh, who can do that with a bike like this, but as a new rider uh, trying to get better off-road, I just, I need a lighter motorcycle so I can get myself out of those situations. It's, that was my conclusion. And just to make it sure or make it clear, it's not the bike's fault. I believe that Yamaha made it, uh, to, to be that heavy or 200 kilograms is not heavy for an adventure motorcycle, but it's heavy for, for someone who wants to ride single trail with it. 
they made it that heavy uh, so it would be more stable on the highway but because let's be real most of the guys with the Tenere 700 in my opinion they tour with it they they pack on some aluminium cases and they ride tarmac and it's absolutely fine but i think yamaha uh, did that on purpose uh, they could have made it lighter but if it was much lighter it would be less stable on the highway so there's a compromise uh, as with everything in adventure motorcycling um so yeah not the the bike's fault but rather me as a rider evolving during my ownership of this motorcycle uh, i did not buy this uh, motorcycle and think that it would be a, a perfect enduro motorcycle uh, even though i did not know too much about motorcycles when i bought it eight months ago um, especially off-road motorcycling uh, i i understood that even though paul Tarris made it look like a 90 kilogram super enduro uh, if that's a thing uh, i understood that 200 kilograms it's too much to to do those kinds of things uh, so again not the bike me as a rider uh, has evolved during my ownership of this this motorcycle so besides the weight i am extremely happy with this motorcycle and and i wish i could keep this and buy uh, a second bike but that's not the case uh, so i'm going to sell it uh, and my next purchase will be at least 60 or 70 kilograms lighter uh, which particular bike it will be i'm not sure yet uh, i'm looking at the suzuki drz 400 because it's cheap but uh, the ones that i can get a hold on in norway uh, they have a gazillion uh, miles on it and uh, have like 48 owners previous owners uh, the other bike i'm looking at is the wr 250r uh, but I haven't test ridden it yet. I will do that in a few few days. I'm not sure if 250 cc's are enough. I'm not sure. Uh, I still would like to ride some tarmac. Uh, I'm still an adventure rider, but I just, for me, the way I like to ride, the way I like to explore, I like to find trails and, and just say, okay, Johannes, what could be on the opposite end of this trail? Uh, I think I need a lighter motorcycle. If you have any experience with the, the WR250R or the DRZ or, or any other motorcycle that you would recommend, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I, if this is watched by enough people, I know that uh, KTM uh, or Husqvarna motorcycles will be, uh, will be suggested and I appreciate that. But one thing I also learned from riding this motorcycle uh, in the in the woods is that it's very painful to look at a motorcycle that costs this much uh, on its side and having to pull it by uh, by its wheel just to get it out of a situation. I would, uh, as a beginner, uh, when I'm learning, I would like a, a lot cheaper motorcycle, uh, used one preferably, so I don't get too too sad when I have to when I have to scratch it or, or break something so yeah uh, I hope my arguments uh, I hope you understand my arguments and where I'm coming from uh, again I'm very happy with this bike but it's uh, I'm, I'm I'm turning more and more into an enduro motorcyclist uh, and no matter how you look at it 200 kilograms uh it's too much for someone who is learning the basic off-road riding uh that is just my conclusion uh so yeah until next time ride safe enjoy i'm out of here